Okay, what's up? It's Box and Wave. Really excited about doing this prediction today. Between two of the biggest trash talkers in boxing. David Hay versus Tyson Fury. Um, real quick, David Hay is coming off a win against Derek Chisora, which was last year, sometimes last year, um, I think early in the summer. Uh, David Hay really doesn't fight much, um, and that's probably his biggest weakness. He hasn't fought, he's fought two fights in the last couple of years. Uh, last year, Chisora, and the year before that, he lost to, which was his first loss to Vlad Vladimir Klitschko, um, which was a disappointing fight because all the trash talking that he does really didn't really show in the ring that night, and um, he was really, it was really disappointing fight. Um, but David Hay, not to take nothing away from him, David Hay is a good boxer. He's a, he has a lot of power. That's what he does. You, you call him the haymaker. That's what he does: is throw haymakers and throw huge bombing overhand punches. And that's what he does. He knocks people out. Um, wouldn't necessarily call him a great boxer. You know, he's good though. He's safe boxers. He stays. He he uh, he usually has to. Uh, Disadvantage in height, so um, he's not that tall. I believe he used to be a cruiserweight, so um, he's not the biggest, biggest heavyweight, but he has a lot of power behind his punches. So, um, uh, yeah. So as as far as uh, Tyson Fury is concerned, Tyson Fury is six nine. He's very tall. He's good with his jab. He's quick. He has good punches. Quick jab. Quick hook. Uh, quick uppercuts. Um, he's pretty good for he's pretty mobile for a guy that's six nine. He's really tall and lanky. He's funny looking sometimes in the ring, but he's you know, he, he fights better than how he looks, in my opinion. Um bigger maybe even a bigger trash talk than David Hayden. This guy trash talks all the way leading up to the fight and he trash talks in the ring. He just won a uh, his big fight his biggest fight, um, which he was really tested on against Steve Cunningham, was a great fight. Um, he got a knockout leading towards it in like seventh, eighth round, I believe. He knocked Steve Cunningham out, but um, Tyson Fury was tested. He was losing early in the fight. He even got knocked down early in the fight. Um, and even though Steve Cunningham was, I think he's 6'3", older, a lot older, I think he was like 36 years old when they fought. Tyson Fury is very young. Um, Steve Cunningham was winning, but he kind of ran that out of gas, and um, Tyson Fury hung in there and ended up not finishing him off uh, later in the later round. So it was a great fight. Um, I'm very excited about the fight, like I said, um, because these guys are going to come in there and try to kill each other. There's no way this is going to be a boring fight. I think somebody. Someone is either going to get knocked out or knocked down a couple of times. Uh, as far as who I think is going to win, it, it really could go two ways. David Hay, being that he fought Klitschko, which is a taller guy that actually uses his jab, Klitschko's a lot smarter. He's, he's very smart. He's not like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can be smart and just use his, his height and his reach advantage. But I doubt that he likes to get in there and brawl with you too and try to, you know, knock you out. He doesn't really fight smart like Klitschko does. But if he, you know, changes his style up a little bit and uses his jab and be a little bit smart about it like he did after he got knocked out, knocked down by Steve Cunningham. If he fights that way, I think he can pull the fight off by using his jab and either knocking him, knocking David Hay out in the later rounds or just win it by decision because at one point he, he'll definitely win as far as throwing an amount of punches and using his jab, his quick hooks and some uppercuts even. So I think uh, if, if it goes that way, depending on how Tyson Fury fights, I think Tyson Fury will win the fight. As far as David Hay, he needs to get inside, he uses, he needs to counter and, and, and you know weave his wave in there and use his overhand right and hooks and you know throw some uppercuts in there he could knock he can he could definitely knock Tyson Fury out I think he's very capable he's more than capable but he has to use the aggression that he usually uses in his fight he cannot fight Tyson Fury like he weighed the way he fought Klitschko because if he does 
Tyson Fury's gonna use his jab throughout the whole fight and he's gonna win the fight so um I think that's what David Hayden needs to do to win the fight. He needs to get inside and be aggressive and apply pressure. He is to, he is, he has, they both have p knockout power, but David Hayden has one punch. Like, he'll knock you out with one punch, it'll be over. Um, you clearly see that it's, uh, Tyson Fury is very capable of getting knocked out after his last fight against Steve C Cunningham. He, uh, you know, he went in there and just got dropped um, by the smaller, the shorter guy. So, I think if Steve Cunningham didn't run out of gas that fight, I think he could have won that fight um, because he was connecting with the better, stronger shots. And um, if David Hay, which I think is who is a lot better at boxer than Steve Cunningham is, and he has better conditioning than Steve Cunningham, and he's not as old as Steve Cunningham, I think if David Hay, you know, used that aggression throughout the whole fight, it should be a short night. I think he, should, he I think he's more than capable of knocking on. Tyson Fury out so there you go I think I give the slight hedge to David Hay I think he's a little bit better a little bit more experienced than Tyson Fury um even though his disadvantages is he doesn't fight much so I think it's all up to Tyson Fury it depends on what fighter he wants to come in at, at at that night if he wants to go in there and try to brawl with David Hay he's gonna get knocked out if not then you know he could use his jab the whole fight and fight smart Stay at a distance and try to win by either points or trying to knock David Haight out. We, we don't know. So, um, it's going to be a good fight either way. It's not going to be a boring fight. Even though David Haight was he came, he was pretty disappointed against uh, Klitschko, Tyson Fury is not going to allow that because he's a totally different fighter than Klitschko. They're both tall, but Tyson Fury is very aggressive. And he's going to talk, talk trash in the ring. And it's going to be a good fight. So, there you have it. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Boxing Wave. Follow me on Twitter, at Wavy underscore 10. Also, subscribe to my boys, uh, USA MVP. So subscribe to his channels. He does uh, good boxing predictions as well. And there you have it. Thanks.